Grunsau Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving and supporting America's military community. With a focus on veteran and active duty service members, the Grunsau Foundation provides resources for mental and physical wellness, food insecurities, transition and sustainment, and veteran homelessness. Join Grunsau on their mission to give back to those who sacrifice so much for our country. Visit their website today at GrunstileFoundation.org to ensure no veteran is left behind. Welcome back. It is a Monday, and I understand that some of you may have just been able to tune in on Facebook. We were on YouTube from the very beginning, but let me welcome all of you on Facebook as you are just seeing the beginning of the show. So it is a Monday. It's the Real Monica Adams Show brought to you by, as you heard, our friends at Invita Health and Wellness. Our first half hour, we're going to be featuring Grunt Style Foundation. You just heard a little bit about who they're about. Let's bring our executive director on board with us. Will Wisner, thank you so much for coming in. Hey, thanks so very much for having me again. It's good to see you. You as well. We, we heard a little bit about uh, the Grunt Style Foundation. Many people might know what you're wearing there. They're like, oh, I have those shirts or I have those sweatshirts. Like, I love the I love the T-shirt aspect of it. Yes, that's one form. But then the foundation comes about. When did the foundation form? Foundation started off in April of 21, so not all that long ago. So the foundation was actually started up. Grunt Style has always done a lot of philanthropic activity, mm -hmm. uh, anywhere between four to five hundred thousand dollars a year is about what they were doing uh, in that time period but uh, they decided they wanted to uh, act as more of their own programs. They wanted to have more of a public charity aspect, more than uh, the private foundation of mm -hmm. supporting these missions. So uh, I came on board uh, in December of the same year uh, to kind of redirect uh, the focus of the foundation. So where did you? Or where are you from? Are you? You're not from St. Louis, are you? I'm not. I settled right. here uh, once I left the military. I originally grew up down in Southwest Missouri, down in the Ozarks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I figured you were from Missouri, though. So, you, so the foundation starts. You become the executive director. You just mentioned though so we want to thank you for your service what branch were you in i was in the army and how uh, where were you stationed uh all, all over. over i did a long career uh, from 1992 until 2008 so uh i panama korea all over the states 10th mountain division in new york uh third id down in uh, fort benning georgia deployed uh, to iraq out of fort benning and so that's the thing when when you and I met walking through the hallways because the Gruntstown Foundation is here in our building. We started talking about ideas that we had to collaborate and do some really great things together. And so then all of a sudden, about a month or so ago, we started filming for what we wanted to talk about today, which is this series. And this is definitely aligning with the mission for all of you that watch us. Will and I started talking. And I was like, oh, mental, spiritual, physical, the whole triangle of life, and and taking care of our military whether they're currently in or they served already and then what happens when they do the transition and that's what this was all about so walk us through where the idea came from for this series obviously we'll talk about where they can watch it etc sure. but i'm sure this wasn't just a oh let's start doing let's do this this was this was a, a brainchild of who well this has been going on for a long time and we're, we're giving voice to the sentiment that is uh predominant across the military and community space the veterans first responders even you know a lot of the those folks are prior service military guys and uh, first and foremost, it's a rejection of the status quo. You know, we've had uh, 22 veterans a day is the colloquial number. I believe it's actually probably higher than that. But everybody kind of agrees that 22 is, is so that's the term in use. Uh, that's been going on through the duration of the war. So 20 years ago, we had 22 veterans a day killing themselves. And here we are in 2023, and we still have 23 veterans, uh, 22 veterans a day killing themselves. Uh, and the help that is out there just isn't working. Whatever it is that we're doing does not work or that needle would have moved. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we can uh, pretty much package that into a, a, uh, saying that the, uh, you know, what, what we call in the veteran community zombie dope. You know, you go to the VA, here's my problems, we have a pill for that. Well, now suddenly that's going to come along with other issues. If it's, and there may not be any efficacy to that modality, right? So then you're taking pills to treat the symptoms of the pills that you're taking and so on and so forth. And it begins a spiral process, and uh, eventually, uh, unfortunately, it all it all does lead down to that same road of that 22 a day. So uh, the point of the, the triangular compass, uh, which is uh, the modality that we call, uh, is a mind, body, spirit approach. We know that there are things that are out there. We know that there are veterans that have come in and they've gone through that same system. They've had their same challenges, but rather than giving in, they sought their own anchor to wellness. And, you know, that can take a lot of forms. It's not the same for everybody. This is stuff that uh, is unique to the individual. Maybe it's riding motorcycles. Maybe it's equine therapy with horses. Maybe it's uh, turning wrenches on cars. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's spirituality. It could be a lot of different things. So what we wanted to do is we want to 
uh, highlight all of these different avenues of approach that you can take. And there's a lot of these veterans that not only found their own healing, but they got motivated to pass that on and start their own nonprofits with these programs. So we want to highlight all these different individual ways and offerings and say, here's alternatives. If you don't like the zombie dope, if this is compounding your problems rather than, than helping, try this. And that's a hard space to do that. You know, the veteran community is not real woo-woo <laughs> in a lot of ways <laughs> with this stuff, but we know that it works. So why settle for the status quo? If you're just tuning in, this is Will Wisner. I know so many of you will pop on and then uh, you come back to the show if you can't stay with us live. Uh, please do so and please pass this along to anyone that you know is currently serving or has served or is thinking of serving because they need to see this series. It was so powerful. And we'll just mention the alternative aspects. One of the things that they'll see in the series is with Dr. Seth Gerlach. you want to talk about what he does? So, yes, Dr. Seth's actually my doctor. Uh, he's a functional medicine provider. And that's, that's uh, I came to know Seth by kind of how I came into this whole space. Uh, I did 12 of my 15 months in Iraq at the al Tawaitha Nuclear Complex, which is Saddam's nuclear facility in Iraq. And I came back and I have a whole lot of issues that are uh, related to toxic exposures. You know, I lived in a nuclear reactor for a year. You know, uh, no matter what the military told me, that wasn't good for my health. It was not okay. And so I've been dealing with that consequence uh, and I, I went through the VA system. I went to even civilian health care, uh, just normal, you know, run-of-the-mill insurance through my civilian job and just kept coming up empty. And it wasn't until uh, I found uh, progress through functional medicine uh, that, uh, you know, some of the light bulbs came on and all the dots started to connect. And my health literally turned completely around. I still have a lot of challenges. I'm on a, I'm on a having a flare up this weekend, as a matter of fact. So it's a it's a dance of always trying to deal with these toxins and, and keep everything in balance. Uh, just normal traditional medicine was not doing that for me. Dr. Seth, uh, as well as several other fantastic uh, holistic healers, uh, really turned it around because you know they're they're trying to address the root problem as opposed to just treating symptoms of whatever it is that I was dealing with. And so uh, Dr. Seth is certainly a hero of mine. And he and I actually just ran into the gym and I was like, hey, I mean, I'm so glad that I met him and the women that are in his office, as he said, several different, here's what I appreciate, Will, not only, uh, you talked about military opening up the mindset, but as a man, a man and someone in the military where I, you always think, okay, this, and that is one of the reasons that there's an issue is because of what kind of power and weight is put on you and then all of a sudden you have that transition and you're trying to go well, wait I don't have the uniform anymore anymore I don't have that armor on now I'm just a citizen how do I transition what happens with my mental side spiritual side addressing all that but here you are as a man as a you know former military that you step out and say no, look, I want, I want to be well. And in the end, as a human being, I want to be well. I don't want to have the masking anymore, masking of the pain, masking of right. the mental and the spiritual side. It's really, really powerful when we talk about that. You mentioned toxins. We all breathe in, take in toxins. We even talk about a cream during the series uh, to help with what you've been through and what all of us go through with regards to toxins in our body. Yeah, uh, that's uh, EDTA uh, is, is really kind of the active ingredient of that cream that you'll see on the uh, Mental Health Roundtable episode when that drops this Friday. Uh, that's been a big player in my life because I have to chelate. I have, I'm so chock full of heavy metals that it's insane. I mean, I am in some really high levels on a numerous uh, list of, of uh, toxins. Uh, this EDTA cream or Kilo cream, and now it's thing it's called the Toxic Cream. It's changed names by marketing. It's trying to zero in on what resonates with people, where they'll they'll take the shot at it. But it's just a hand cream with the uh, EDTA suspended in it. And what it does, it's a chelator. It it bonds to heavy metals and uh, pulls it out of you. So you know, you couple that with uh, better nutrition. You couple that with uh, infrared sauna therapy. Uh, you're going to start seeing some progress. You know, I I I was so toxic that I. Uh, required uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy as well on top of all that. But that, that was really my key. Now, it may be completely different for somebody else, depending sure. on what it was that they were exposed to. Uh, I was heavily involved with the burn pit issue. You know, I, I was around burn pits uh, on occasion, but I wasn't somebody that lived right next to one uh, full time. Uh, a lot of folks are. That's kind of the signature illness. But you know what? There's so much other toxicities in war. Uh, and when we got into the political fight of all of that, trying to get the PACT Act passed, you know, uh, we determined there's a lot of different categories down there, right? There's like the water, the stuff that's in the, the dirt, the stuff that's in the air. Well, coming home and as I was putting all these pieces together, I learned, well, it's just as bad over here. You, it's in your food. You know, I was just watching a news report last week 
where Japan has banned, uh, I can't remember the, the compound name, but it's in Rice Krispies, it's in Frosted Flakes, it's a flavor enhancer that's uh, highly carcinogenic. Uh, you know, this stuff is all around us. Flame retardant is on our mattresses and our beds. Well, that's the thing. If people really sat down and read labels, which I, any dietitian or a trainer would tell you, I wish you would, and you would go and start questioning, wait a minute, what is this? Why is this being allowed? I used to get really frustrated being in the wellness industry of what was allowed, what would, you know, oh, that's okay. This percentage of this, you can have that. You wouldn't, you'd probably not eat anything or put anything in your body or on your body if you really knew what was in it. Yeah, so this this is powerful. Um, a Grunt Style Foundation, once again. So there's going to be a three-part series. You just mentioned the mental health side will drop this Friday. Right. Where can people watch this? On any of the Grunt Style uh, platforms. You can go to gruntstylefoundation.org. You can go to our Facebook. You can go to our uh, Instagram. Uh, you can go to gruntstyle.com uh, uh, through their Facebook, their Instagram. Uh, and American Grit, which is where all this is going to kind of live. That's our online digital magazine. That's at AmericanGrit.com. And then we also, and we featured Chuck Eastman on the show, uh, Stop Soldier Suicide yeah. is, a, is a segment. What part is that on? Is that in the... That's in mental health. Okay. And then you're going to have two other series that will drop. Body and Spirit. Is Body second? Body is second. And this is, is this going to be on Fridays, or how is it going to be dropping? Well, this is going to drop in one large shoot. Okay. It's going to be dropping this Friday. Okay. Uh, we're going to drop all uh, six hours of content. They're about three episodes, about two hours each. Uh, and then we'll be advertising them and promoting them uh, piecemeal. So uh, uh, it's, it's still episodic, but dropping all at once, kind of like a Netflix deal. So, and again, I, I grabbed a lot of those men, and you saw them on the show. If you haven't, by the way, go back to that one. We talked about Stop Soldier Suicide. We talked about the Triangular Compass with Angel and JD. And then we're going to take a break. One of the other things we talked about, and we went really in depth in a in a in a panel discussion here at View 17, and we had uh, people that would be leaning very very far. Right Right, uh, as well as to the left and then kind of right in the middle for them to listen and open up their mind. And then we did a big panel discussion about fifth generation warfare that you might not have ever heard of before. So we're going to take a quick break and you're going to hear a little bit about that more with Will Wisner when we return. It's the icing on the cake. The final brush stroke. The finishing touches make all the difference in your home, too. Have fun and get started at carolhouse.com slash room planner. With thousands of accessories in our three and a half acre showroom. Get your picture perfect room and the lowest prices in the country at Carol House. Because you like nice things. You know, of course, it's great to get outside and enjoy the warm weather, but when it's time to relax indoors, be sure your home stays cool with equipment and service from my friends at Aldon. 24-hour emergency service available at Aldon. It's their commitment to continue providing above and beyond HVAC service for all of their customers. They truly care about the air you breathe. Call them today at 314-567-5585 or on the web, aldon.com. That's A L dash don.com 314-567-5585 Tonight I want to talk to you on a subject of deep concern to all Americans and to many people in all parts of the world.
first time the U.S. joined by European allies and NATO partners publicly condemned China for malicious cyber hacks and directly hiring hackers. I tell you what, Will, you showed that to us about a week or so ago, and I just got chills. My husband, who, as you know, is a lieutenant with the St. Louis County Police, had tears in his eyes, and he said, yes. This will defend. I just love that, by the way, and you see that on uh, on all the grunt-style shirts. Fifth Generation Warfare, which Boone Cutler and Tim Jensen, they were on my show. We talked about it. We could talk about it for hours, though. I mean, even now, we only have a handful of minutes left. But even when he was in the chair, he's like, Monica, we could talk for hours about this. Yeah. But it's dangerous. And we do go in depth about it. It was interesting. Did you get a chance to talk to any of the people that were uh, on the panel afterwards as I left? Did they yes. open up a little bit more and say that they were either very scared by it or enlightened by it? I think both. You know, and that's really why we wanted to lead with that in the mental category of this triangular approach of holistic healing. So a thousand different topics that we could have picked, you know, in terms of mind and the mind, body, spirit. But we wanted to start with fifth gen warfare because, you know, uh, everyone knows something's not right in our country. Something is not right in our society right now, but you can't put a name to it. It's just like everything has gone upside down and left is right and up is down. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's nonsense. The fifth generation warfare really allows you to put a name to the experience. And then that allows uh, for more critical thinking. And that's really what we need in order to protect your mind and protect yourself is to understand, you know, what's going on around you. What are the influences that we are being uh, accosted with on the day to day mm -hmm. and how does it come to us? And then how can we uh, employ tactics to, uh, be situationally aware so that we're not pulled into that trap. And one of the things that Boone said is we're already looking at sixth generation and where do we go from here? I mean, it all started again on the battlefield and this is where we are. Now we're against ourselves. Now being brainwashed by the media, which I worked in for 30 years, brainwashed by everything we look at on these things. What's true? What's not? And you're just led to believe things that uh, are, are attacking your own brain, right? Ab absolutely. And if you can just breathe and watch what's going on and put things into context, you can kind of see the path. You can kind of see what's what's going on. And so we really wanted to start with that because, you know, if you're locked into that matrix of that tribalism, of that polarization, everything is political now. Mm -hmm. Everything. Mm -hmm. And if we can just give people the opportunity and a tool to latch on to where they're not engaging in that, then, then the, the size of the problem is reduced by that one person. And if we can continue to reach more and more people, maybe now we have an opportunity and an avenue to start taking our country back. And, and you know, we're Americans. Act, we need to act like it. And this is a great way to do it. We need to act like human beings that are kind, first and foremost, right? I think right? those are synonymous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I, I see a lot of people saying, thank you for your service, Will. It's people that are saying that they have someone graduating from the Naval Academy and they'll share the information with them. We want, to sh want you to share it. I don't care even if you don't have someone in military. It is just what you'll find in this series is just a, is eye-opening and awakening to who we are as human beings, as we just mentioned, and trying to get you to be kinder, open your mind, your soul, your spirit, uh, work on your body. We talk about the physicality of it all. What are you most proud of with uh, putting this together? And I'm sure this is just kind of the beginning. You have more things like this you're wanting to do. We we are absolutely just beginning. As far as what I am the most proud of is uh, just the bridges that this is building within the veteran space. You know, the nonprofit sector can be kind of cutthroat. That People don't tend to cooperate very well. Everyone's trying to guard donor lists and, you know, this type of thing in the traditional nonprofit world, which is, you know, kind of the world I, I came from between being out of the military and, and then getting in with Grunt Style. I was a nonprofit consultant, worked with many different nonprofits across all different sectors. The veteran space is unique. They rally. They know how to work together as a team. And we have our sights set on an objective that is so much bigger than ourselves. It's, it, this is societal uh, Im, Im, implications here. This is, is big impact opportunities. And so I'm proud that we are at the tip of the spear rallying these forces of like-minded individuals that have that understanding. They've been downrange. They've, they've you know, 
looked into dark places and they're coming back and now we're going to use the experiences uh, that we've uh, gone through and what the lessons that we've learned uh, to lift up our society, our, our countrymen, our fellow Americans. Uh, that is what I'm the most proud of is we have an opportunity to do it and we've got people in leadership roles through Grunt Style and through Stop Soldier Suicide and all these other wonderful organizations that we're working with. They've got the guts to actually walk the talk, and that's pretty impressive. And so, I'm, obviously, we were just talking about donor aspect. We want you to help the military. We want you to help this organization. If somebody wants to donate, they would go to GruntStyleFoundation.org? GruntStyleFoundation.org. Okay. Like and so, as you had mentioned before, you can watch GruntStyleFoundation.org. You can watch it there. Um, you can do just GruntStyle.com. Go to their Facebook page. I want to tell you, though, whoever played a role in putting all of this together, please tell them from someone who's worked in the media – unbelievable job. It literally gave me chills when I watched just one promo that you showed. I can't wait. Myself and I was a, I was a part of it. I was able to moderate. I was a, kind of the host and, and talked with all these incredible uh, men and women about what they've been through and trying to protect their minds and their spirit and their bodies because they were our heroes. They served for us and now here they are as a, as a citizen doing the transition and trying to survive and taking care of them. And we want to take care of them as well. So Grunt Style Foundation Please go on there, find out more information about it. And then the triangular compass, which you'll be able to see as well. You go to the menu and, and see the wellness aspect of what they're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. I was truly humbled to be a part of it. Well, you are the glue that held this together. That's one of the things I am most proud on as well, is I kind of put all this little thing together. Our media team is the one that's doing all the work and making it look great. But we've gotten so many compliments from your role Thank within you. this whole program because you're in every single episode, leading it all the way through, all six hours. And, man, I, we have gotten so uh, much good feedback on what you bring uh, to this experience. You're a, a different voice than what you know, it, we're normally getting big, stinky veterans, big beards, <laughs> and all this stuff talking <laughs> gruffly about these things. But to put a professional uh, like yourself uh, behind that desk and really – bring this thing home. It added a whole new dimension to it. And I can't see what, uh, I can't wait to see what it is that this uh, ah, fruit this produces. You just gave me a chill. Well, thank you. I can't wait to see it because just like all of you, you're going to get a chance to see it drop on Friday. And I can guarantee I'll be crying because I, you were just all so powerful what you brought to the table. And it was amazing to me. I would, I look forward to doing more work with you because right. again, in my 30 year career, it, it really is one of my proudest. And, and the, my manager, she said she walked away and had tears in her eyes and called me, even though we were together for 10 hours shooting, <laughs> she called that night and said, I'm so proud of the work that was done today. I said, I, yeah. I agree. These guys are, are, are great. So, Will, thank you so much again. GruntStyleFoundation.org is where you can watch all this, the mental side, the physical side, the spiritual side. It all comes together. It's everything that we've been talking about since March 1st, and that's why we wanted to do this, and I hope we do much, much more. So I'll look at some of your, some of your comments. We'll pass those along to Will as well, and please share today's show so that everybody knows to watch that. Again, AmericanGrit.com. Keep an eye on that. GruntStyle.com, GruntStyleFoundation.org. And the other is StopSoldierSuicide.org, which is a great one as well. Yes. And one last thing I can say, we're still little. We're a tiny little nonprofit with not a lot of track record behind us as far as time, but the impact we've had has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. What we really need is for your followers to give us a like on our social media and help us grow that thing. You can find us on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Grunt Style Foundation, and you can follow us on Twitter at, at or X now, I guess, at yeah. <laughs> Grunt Style FDN, Grunt Style FDN. Okay, please do so. You, you're a wonderful community. I know you'll uh, back their, uh, throw your support and back them as well. Thank you all for watching this first segment. It's a Monday, so it's Medical Monday. We're going to bring Dr. Charles Willie in. Any questions you have about your care, the care of your family, etc., you want to bring them to the table here in the next half hour. Medical Monday. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you. We'll be right back.